They are images you might see in a war zone. Protesters throwing Molotov cocktails, police vehicles on fire, and officers responding with force. As civil unrest grips France, human rights groups are raising the alarm about what they say is police responding with a heavy hand. Officials at the UN and the European Commission are expressing concern about the police response, while Amnesty International cited widespread use of excessive force and arbitrary arrests. Critics say the problem lies with how French police are trained. They are pushed by the government to be aggressive, to be in this uh, strategy of, of containing and even of uh, uh, beating people. And therefore, there is no, uh, no room for negotiation. And in the city of Nantes, which saw clashes over pension reform last week, the accusations include sexual assault. Four female students claimed they were sexually assaulted by officers during the protests. And now there are calls for a thorough investigation. Among those speaking out, the French writer Annie Arnaud, who won the 2022 Nobel Prize in Literature. She is one of 46 signing an open letter asking for the case to be turned over to a body independent of the police, saying there is no place for humiliation and violence against women in the society we wish for. Some of the most violent clashes happened in western France over the weekend, where thousands of protesters were speaking out against the construction of large water reservoirs.